Hello, class. Last time we had briefly talked about this Torricelli's law as an application of a separable differential equation. And that was suppose a water tank has a hole with an area A at its bottom where water is leaking. We denote Y of T as the depth of water in the tank at time T and by V of T, the volume of the water in the tank. Then the velocity of the water exiting the hole is V is equal to the square root of two times G times Y, where G is that gravitational constant. From this, Torricelli's law for a, drain, for a drain tank then is the derivative of that volume with respect to time is equal to negative K times the square root of Y. Well, K is defined as A times the square root of two times G. Again, that gravitational constant. And we were going to look at this, but I did not want to accidentally start learning things that were not going to make sense. So example seven had a hemispherical bowl has top radius four feet and at time zero is full of water. At that moment, a circular hole with diameter one inch is opened on the bottom of the tank as described here inside of this picture. We want to know how long does it take for all the water to drain from the tank. And we could express this area as the function a of y. That is, of course, pi times r squared. Uh, but we could see we have a little right triangle inside of this picture of set lengths 4 minus y, r, and 4. Based upon this, we could use that Pythagorean theorem, which, you know, based on that, Pythagorean theorem, that tells us the following, that 4 minus y squared plus r squared is supposed to equal to 4 squared. Mind you, we have an r squared inside of this equation here. So we could briefly solve this for r, uh, for r squared, excuse me, by just subtracting that 4 minus y squared. This makes 4 squared minus 4 minus y squared. So we could express this area then as pi times, this will be 16 for that 4 squared, minus 4 minus y squared. And we could slightly simplify that to be pi times 8y minus y squared, since the 16s will cancel. And we would also let that gravitational constant g, in this case, be 32 feet per second per second. And then we could express our differential equation by multiplying by this area each time. So this will be pi times 8y minus y squared times dy over dx is equal to That'll be in there on the left. For the right hand side, this would be negative pi times 1 over 24 squared times the square root of 2 times 32y. And so we could then. We could first go and um, simplify both sides here by dividing out those pies and a little bit of rewriting things and whatnot. But we would obtain the following. 8y to the 1 half power minus y to the 3 halves power. And this is supposed to be equal to negative 1 over 72 
for this. And then we're going to take the integral of both sides. So this would be with respect to y. And this one is going to be with respect to t. Doing this, we would obtain the following equation. 16 thirds times y to the 3 halves power minus 2 fifths times y to the 5 halves power is equal to negative 1 over 72 times t plus some constant c. To obtain that value of c, um, we were told right here about the radius of four feet at time zero. So that means at our equation here of y of zero, we would have this equal to four. So because of that, we could then put zero in for all of these, well, specifically in for all these t's, solve for that value of c. And we put four in for all these y's actually. So solving this would actually give us 16 thirds times four to the three halves power minus two fifths times four to the five halves power is equal to negative one over 72 times zero plus C. This would then imply that once we actually, you know, compute this, do all the calculations, we would obtain for this answer to be equal to, uh, first run out, this would be as 16 thirds times four to the three halves power minus two fifths times four to the five halves power. And doing so will give us a value of, as a fraction, 488 over 15. A complex fraction, certainly. Um, and then based upon this, since we want to know how long would it take for the water to drain from the tank, we would have, in order for this to be empty, let me just space this out here a bit. Okay, for this to be empty, we want y to be equal to zero, right? So that would be when we have t is equal to this will be 72 times our fraction of 488 divided by 15. And doing that is going to give us about 2,150 seconds. which I know sounds like a lot. Um, if we actually convert that, this is about 35 minutes. And 50 seconds. And this is for this to drain. And that was the example that we were referring to during our yesterday's class. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.